In today's news, the Thailand Development Research Institute has published a report blaming the Thai government for the current vaccine shortage and its blunders that have worsened the COVID situation. I'm sure a lot of Thais would agree on this, with more and more friends and families either hospitalized or bankrupt and with no end in sight, especially after seeing their vaccination appointments postponed indefinitely, including my appointment that I was supposed to have yesterday. Well, we at The Tiger are doing our part the best we can to make sure that you're up to date with the most important news during these confusing and often frustrating times. More stories coming right up. Before we begin, a quick announcement to join the conversation with Tiger Talk. It's a new comment section for the Tiger website and provides a lot of new topics and opportunities to participate in the news and just about everything related to life in Thailand. Please remember to keep the conversation as civil as possible and we greatly appreciate our moderators for the thankless job they're doing. Just click Tiger Talk under any article in the tiger.com and then you can join the conversation. All right, on to the news. The Thailand Development Research Institute has leveled the blame of the current vaccine shortage and polished C shortfalls fairly and squarely in a recently published report. The TDRI report blames the Thai government for blunders that have worsened the COVID situation and that despite Thailand doing great in controlling the outbreak in the first wave, there were some glaring blunders subsequently which have proved to be responsible for the current situation. From around an impressive 150th in the world for most numbers of COVID cases just a few months ago, Thailand has crept up to 60th as of today. The report pointed to the government's alleged erroneous decisions to allow the Songkran holidays last April without proper disease control measures for travelers, despite the third wave having already started before the decision was made. They also pointed to the confusing announcement of a lockdown in Bangkok on the night of June the 26th, while a day earlier insisting that there would be no lockdown of the metropolitan areas. Yesterday, cinema chain Major Cineplex announced it was closing five of its movie theater locations in Bangkok. At this stage, they will stay closed until July the 25th. They say the move is a precautionary measure. The major Cineplex theaters closing are the Rashiotin, Rangsit, Binglao, Sukhumvit, and Esplanade theaters. The Bangkok not a lockdown measure includes a soft curfew from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., restricted transportation, and the closure of multiple department stores, certainly most of the central branded department stores. The Phuket Provincial Public Health Office chief is putting a positive spin on the recent COVID-infected tourists popping up in the sandbox, saying the infections were expected. Dr. Koo Sak Koo Kiet Koon wanted to assure the public and tourists thinking about participating in the sandbox plan that zero of the high-risk contacts linked with the COVID-infected tourists have tested positive. Dr. Koo Sak believes the plan should keep going full steam ahead, regardless of hiccups. He said, quote, the infected cases among Phuket sandbox tourists were expected under the plan made before opening the island and the infections will not be able to stop the Phuket sandbox scheme for sure. He went on to assure potential visitors of the highest safety measures for travel to the island under the sandbox model. Last week, it was announced that all Phuket schools will be closed for two weeks due to the potential of COVID infections. Not sure if that was part of the expected sandbox plan as well. With COVID-19 still on the rise in Chonburi, which includes Pattaya, the governor has imposed new disease control measures, ordering nightly business closures and officially requesting residents to stay at home from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. unless travel is essential. The order goes into effect today. The governor says that restrictions are in place until the COVID-19 situation in Chonburi improves. Chonburi is currently classified by the Thai government as a red zone under maximum control to combat the spread of the coronavirus. Some restrictions, such as nightlife, venue closures, remain in effect. 
While the stay-at-home order appears to be more of a request, there's likely to be checkpoints and people who travel during the nightly hours might be asked to provide documents or proof of their reason to travel. Restrictions include gas stations, restaurants, food carts of all types, department stores, retail, convenience stores, markets, massage shops, pools, water parks, game and internet cafes, amulet shops, beauty clinics, and tattoo studios. They must all be closed from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m. 18 people were arrested after Thailand's police cyber task force raided two homes in Batum Thani, just north of Bangkok. They were suspected of being used for operating several online gambling websites. The suspects faced charges of illegally running an online gambling operation and violating the emergency decree, which has been in place since April last year. Last Friday, the CCSA imposed additional restrictions in Bangkok and surrounding provinces, which limits gatherings to no more than five people. Police investigated several gambling websites and obtained search warrants from the Tanyaburi court for homes suspected of being linked to the websites. Officers seized 16 computers, 8 luxury cars, and 11 million baht in cash. Around Southeast Asia, 71,510 new COVID infections were reported yesterday. These daily cases across the region are trending up over the past few weeks. The death toll in the region has now climbed to 107,438. The situation in Indonesia worsened yesterday with the country reporting a record 40,427 cases and 891 deaths. The Indonesian government has imposed a new lockdown on Java and Bali islands and announced the highest social distancing measures in several cities on Sumatra, Kalimantan and Papua. Vietnam reported 2,383 new cases and seven deaths yesterday. In Thailand, the number of daily cases has dropped below 9,000 for the first time in four days. Same with the number of deaths. Today, there were 55 new COVID-related deaths announced, fewer than the last five days. That's all for the news today. Be sure to subscribe to the Tiger Channel and keep that notification bell on for more news stories this week. Hope everyone stays safe and sane and swati krap. Tim was sad. He had time on his hands, but didn't know where to find the news. But then he remembered. The Tiger app, all your Thai news and Tiger videos in one place. Just a single click takes you to a one-stop connection to all the news and information in Thailand. Now Tim is happy. Available free on Apple and Android, hologram not included.